Okay, I'm back. Hey, what's up, Gypsy? Hey, it's back. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, probably Nintendo did a DDoS attack on me. They probably, like, uh, pinged the shit out of me and fucked up my my stream because we were talking uh, shit about <laughs> Sticker Star and Paper Jam. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo got me. Yeah, Shigeru Miyamoto, you know... He, uh, got on his, uh, clown... He got on his Bowser clown, uh, copter and, you know, cut some internet lines, um, on the, on the old AT&T, uh, tower... Uh, the AT&T, uh, configure little, you know, little, that little metal stump thing where they fix the internet wires and shit. That, yeah, he went there and cut the wires and fucked up the internet. Um, huh, some people are speculating that the new, uh, yeah. now that would be funny if it was true. That's whenever I read that and then the stream ended. Is, is it Bandana D? It better be. Nah. Uh-oh, Nintendo found us in the stream. We are sorry about talking smack about the sticker star. Um, huh, I thought it was me, just me. The next fighter is, uh, oh yeah, yeah. <coughs> Doug Bowser ain't messing around. I know, Doug Bowser ain't messing around. Now, I don't know if I should reveal who it is now. But I'm back. I'm back. Unfortunately, the, uh, the internet got messed up. But we're back. Hopefully, you guys are still here. That was so stupid of the of, of the stream to do that. I don't know why. All right. Cool. Oh no. Alright, so let's see. Maybe Laura should go ahead and uh, heal the wolf guy. Nah, I think he'll be okay. So let's go kill this guy. What does the green arrow mean again? Frodo, what does the green arrow mean whenever it's like curving up next to the binion guy? What does it mean? Biorhythm is increasing. like a soul that's pretty resistant to magic, so that's good. But not so much Baloo. Hmm. Maybe I can kill him one hit. No, I can't. But... Hold on. Okay, I should be okay. I could do this. I'll do this. I'll go attack this guy. He'll survive. Oh, he missed! Good, he missed! And then I'll have Ileana kill the other guy. So right now we're in a good spot. We're in a good place right now. We're in a good place. So... We should go ahead and do a battle save. We're in a good place right now. And then Ileana can kill this guy. Kill this douchebag. Bye. Okay, so the fighter that is rumored to be next is 
is Gino from Mario RPG, but like, if that is true, I'm going to be hyped, but take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, probably not. I have seen third party fighters getting rumored too. I doubt it. Yeah, it's probably not Gino, unfortunately. Okay, good. Everyone's still alive. Let's go heal. Let's heal Edward. Oh, nice. Wow, we didn't. I, I never got this far before in this battle. Thankfully, I didn't get. I mean, wow, I can't believe I'm still. I got this far. I wonder what happens if I make them all, like, stand right here. Would they get... Oh. Shit. Oh, I can't. Oh, well, it's okay. Whatever. Crap, I can't get them to the, over there. Unless, like... Maybe I can just reset? Let's reset. Because it's already did a battle save. I doubt it. Still hoping for Bandana D or Bomberman. Oh, Bomberman? What is- who's Bandana D? But I would love to see Bomberman as a character, as a fighter. I'm still hoping for Waluigi. Like, you could see him come, coming, but in a way, you don't. Yeah, you can see him coming, but he's- I guess it's because- I mean, he's a very like- I mean, he's a very, um, it's very likely you would see a character like Waluigi in Smash, but he's not- you know, he doesn't- he's not established enough, I guess. To, uh, not established enough, but it's just that... May, you know, I mean, he could be- a, he could definitely be a fighter, but... He just doesn't- um, I guess he's not... popular in the way that people like Waluigi a lot, you know? But he's a very likely character. Does your computer crash? No, it's not my computer, it was OBS, uh, Piccolo, uh, but welcome back. Bandana D is the Waddle D with the banana and spear from Oh, that's so cute! Oh my god, I want to see Bandana D, that's so cute. Oh, Bandana D is so cute. I personally really want more Sonic representation like Tails, Knuckles, or Shadow. I could see Sha- I could see Knuckles as a character. I could so see Knuckles as, as a fighter. It would be a total trick that it would be a total trick hat move for Sakurai to turn a current AT into a fighter to throw everyone off. Current AT? What's an AT? Yeah, Smash Brothers needs some more Sonic. Dr. Eggman for me. Sarcasm off. I, I am legit su sarcasm off. I am legit surprised Sonic doesn't have another rep. Yeah, I can see Dr. Eggman being a character too. You're not wrong, scheming. I can see Dr. Eggman being a character. Um, I have, well, well, time to see if I'll get banned for a link. No, you're not, why would you get banned? <coughs> Excuse me. And also, uh, Thorn, uh, go ahead and post a link to, go, go ahead and post a link to in, in, in Linkies. In my Discord, so that way I can see, that way I can see it later. It's it's in my Discord. If you go to media shit, there's linkies. You can put the link there too, so I can see it later. Um, I swear, if they added Doctor Eggman, I would not be happy. Why? Scheming loves Doctor Eggman. That's Bandana D. Nah, hyperlinks are fine as long as they are cool. It would most likely be Tails, Doctor Eggman, or Amy. Knuckles and Shadow are already assist trophies. Oh, I see. Let me take a look. Aww, I love the. Uh, I love the uh, bandana D. He's so cute. Aww, so cute. Uh, you damn right I love me some Eggman. <laughs> if the Smash Brothers community uh, didn't already implode, I would have guessed a Sonic Echo Fighter is what would have killed the game.
a lot of chan a lot of channels just have a, a bot auto ban links. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mine probably doesn't. Oh shit! I didn't kill this guy. I forgot. Some bullshit. What the fuck? She's gonna die. That was bullshit. Did you see that, guys? What the fuck? Oh my god. That was some bullshit. That's why I save. Uh, that's why I uh, <laughs> reload my save. I mean, it was only a 69% chance. Shut the fuck up, Frodo. You know it's funny. You know it. That was bullshit. All right, let's see. All right, let's go kill him. Yeah, 69%. Whatever, but still. There. That's much better. Much better. Assholes. That that guy was that soldier was an asshole. He should he should have died. <laughs> So let's see what ha let's see what happens if I if I get in the guy's way. Oh, but there's one. Oh wait 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 wait. I forgot about this part right here. So what happens if I get in his way? Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, isn't she weak to spears? You ever use Micaiah's sacrifice ability? Yeah, I do use it. I do use it. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Crap! Oh shit! Ileana! No, Ileana! Oh, she's gonna get fucked. He's gonna get fucked. Unless, wait, 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 wait. Unless, like, he, uh. Okay, so let's go kill these guys over here. Yeah, let's go kill that guy. Axes is more than lances. No, 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 because, like, I thought that, um. I thought like dragon flyers or any anyone who flies are more susceptible to, to lances, right? I thought that's what I was thinking. I'm a lance fan though. You're probably thinking bows. Oh yeah, 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 yeah bows. <laughs> yeah, it's bows. You're right. And no, wyverns are not weak to bows in this game. Bows, not lances. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, bows. You're right. <laughs> I meant bows. Yeah, I do use Sacrifice. I do use Sacrifice. I was gonna use Sacrifice on Edward, but I just didn't want to- I, did, I was afraid that these guys would come down and kill, uh, Micaiah, so that's why I decided not to. But I'll go ahead and do it. Yeah, they still can't reach Micaiah.
I'll just get out and get up here and try and kill him. But in this game, it's just lightning magic, I think. I see. Alright, so... Oh no, if I... Hmm. Maybe I can kill him from here. Ah, dang, still can't. Cool, we can kill him. Uh-oh. Oh, good miss. Gotcha, asshole. Yep, just like magic, and there are hardly any Thunder Mage get enemies, too. Probably why both the Wyverns in this game is good as fuck. Looks like he can't get Micaiah, so I'll move you over here. Okay, good. Oh no, your girlfriend, Jill! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, your girlfriend, Jill! Oh no, no, no! Frodo's girlfriend is is Jill, by the way. It's a, that's his wife. Really. Even though he doesn't want to admit it, it's true. Don't understand the logic backing that one. Oh, okay. I'm just fucking with you, Frodo. Let's see. We can go ahead. Ooh, let me see. Get your ass up over here, Laura. Get your fucking ass up over here. Oh, I can use- I can probably use the, uh, hand axe. Oh yeah, definitely. And then I'll use this. I'll use a skill sword. Good. Yay! We're making it. We're making it. What the hell? I want more strength. Oh well. I got speed at least. Don't be embarrassed, Frodo. Don't be embarrassed of your girlfriend waifu. No, I'm just kidding.
Oh god, Jill. Why'd you go that way, Jill? What the hell? Okay, never mind. Oh, we're on turn six. Okay, good. We're on turn six. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. You better get your ass back down here. <laughs> she, she heard. She waddled her ass back down there. She's like, oh, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll get my ass down there as fast as soon as possible. Oh, shot. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He survived. Wait, why do I want to talk to ZR? Do I recruit him? Because I, I think Frodo said I, I can't recruit him. He's a cool guy. I'm sure he has interesting things to say. Okay. No. Oh. Journal to Reneo. Zark and Jill, too. I haven't seen you since the war ended three years ago. Who would have thought we'd meet again in such a desolate place? So, have you grown? I hardly recognized you. We have a lot of catching up to do. But for now, I'll just make introductions. This is Micaiah. And who have we here? Hmm? Oh, it's Izuka! Isn't that guy, the guy in the tower? Wasn't he the guy in the tower he, experimenting on all the, um... All the... What are they called again? All the, um... The, uh... Lagoos? Yeah, wasn't he the guy experimenting on the Lagoos? Why? Why is he here? He's evil! Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is he here? He's evil. But he was also part of Dayan, right? Oh yeah, he was part of Dayan, wasn't he? Here, I'll sum it up for you. Zyarek says something. So, you can say that again. Zyarek says the same thing he said again. Yep. Oh yeah, that's right. He is... I mean... I guess... I guess what this... I guess what Radiant Dawn is trying to portray is that... And every kingdom, you know, whether whether it's going to be Crimea, whether it's going to be Dayan or Benyon, there's always a, ba a, a, a like a dark side to the to the kingdom. And there's going to be good side. There's going to be good sides to the kingdom, bad sides to the kingdom. I get, I, I, I get what I get what um, the the developers are trying to get at. There's like we're showing we're seeing like the bad side to um, to Benyon in this game. But, and we saw the bad side today in, in Path of Radiance, but now we're, I guess we're trying to see a, a more redeeming side to, to Dayan in this game. And then, of course, Binion's the bad guy now. Come on, let me have some fun. <coughs> Step back. Who are you? Lord Izuka. There's no need for concern. This young man is sold. We know him well. So, may I introduce Lord Izuka? He is advisor and close confidant to Prince Pelas, Pelias, Ashnard's son. Micaiah, did you hear that? The prince is here. The prince is. The prince is here. 
Still, I can't believe we ran into you three. <clears throat> of all people, guarding the prince. Yeah, so the burps in the in the in the dialogue too. I meant to burp. He burps in it too. What a lucky coincidence. General Torneo, we came here because we heard the prince was gathering forces in the desert. We want to help you in your efforts. Will you let us join you? Certainly. Dayan needs all the courage we can muster. Let us join forces. See here. What do you think you're doing? You can't just ignore me and start making decisions. These people are suspicious. Very suspicious. You're all being spies, aren't you? Come now. Tell the truth. We're the Dawn Brigade. We never work for those filthy curs. The Dawn Brigade? But how? Then perhaps the girl. No. Could it be? Are you the silver haired maiden? Do you have the healing touch of sacrifice? Excuse me. Take your hands off her. What a coincidence. Or is it fate? Or maybe it's my unrivaled skill as a revolutionary organizer. With the silver haired with the silver haired maiden at our side, we'll surely win over the people of, of Dayan. And then yes, incite scattered rebel movements. Mm-hmm. And then further, the future of change. Mary, let's see. Okay. Fabian was always questionable. Thanks to the senators, you see, you, um, you first see a bit of that when Ike traveled there halfway through the game. Yeah, they're kind of manipulative. Yeah, they, I do see that they're kind of manipulative, and they don't really give a shit about other people's affairs unless it benefits them, right? So they're kind of like the pro people. Is he touched in the head? Oh my, oh wait, wait, wait. oh my, but yes, I'll beckon to, no, demand that the precious scalawags surrender. Perfect, I am a genius. Come, come, my dear maiden, you must meet the prince. Ooh, we get to meet the prince. Let us help me. That man can try the patience of a stone. Ooh, it's getting good. Wow, this is Ashnard's son, really? Wow. Look here. Before you stands the one and only, the Grand Prince Peleus, the tr true-blooded son of the King of Dayan. And here we have the consort and queen of our late King Ashnard, Lady Alma Almeida. What the fuck? Wow. And look at you. You're standing. Did the desert dry out your brains? Kneel ye before these royal personages. Personages, percentages, whatever. Pers personages, whatever. It's all right, Izuka. Please, don't stand on ceremony. I didn't know I was a prince until very recent. So, really, I'm not used to any of this. What do you mean? Until I hear, until half a year ago, that is, until Izuka found me, I was raised as a normal commoner. To be frank, it still doesn't feel real to me that I, I myself, could be the son of King Ashnard. It's a little overwhelming. Let's see. Wait. There's Prince Peleus, and then there's also um, Queen, uh, or so. So it's Prince Peleus and Lady Almeida. So is Lady Almeida also a commoner too? Did she not know she was a queen? Or am I going to find that? And am I am I going to find out in a bit? And they condoned Lagoo's slavery while continuing to support in secret. Which pissed 
Tormod off and was the reason for his resistance group. Yeah, I remember that part. Don't talk nonsense, darling. You are my own sweet, sweet son. Prince Peleus, yes. Okay, okay, so she was a commoner too. Okay. I'll never let you be parted from me. No. Never, ever again. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. She is, she was, she, she knows she's a queen. Never mind. So she was, she was with King Ashnerd. So it sounds like she wasn't a commoner. She was with King Ashnerd. And then they, and somehow the, the prince parted from them. Somehow. And then they found each other again. Six months ago. Interesting. Ahem. Enough of the pleasantries, then. Shall we get down to business? Well then, Micaiah of the, draw of the Dawn Brigade, I henceforth appoint thee to the post of Vice General of the Day and Liberation Army. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Wait a moment. I appreciate the offer, Izuka, but I'm afraid I cannot accept. I have no war experience and no knowledge of battle tactics. Dayan needs a general with both. Are you not a member of the heroic Dawn Brigade, whose conquests precede them? Do you not want to save the people of Dayan? Serve the prince, and you can step out of the shadows and face the Empire boldly, without shame. Why hesitate? This is a thinly veiled scheme, and I see right through it. You just want Makai to serve as a figurehead for your revolution. Is that a problem? Yes, that's a problem. She's not some fancy stoneware for you to get, for you to set on display. If you're going to do this, then I cannot sign on. Exactly. Makaya, please, wait. That isn't what we meant. You're not the only one who knows nothing about battle. I don't either. But if I don't act, the devastation of Dane will grow even will grow ever worse. So, I have to be brave. Please, I'm asking you to do the same. Micaiah, for the sake of the future of Dayan, will you join our cause? So, yeah, I, I, this is interesting. This is a very interesting twist. Like, you know how, like, in the first game, uh, what's that green-haired lady's... What was that green-haired lady's name again? The one who was, like, trying to help... Have Ike join her cause? What was her name? And um, and then like she's like the like the only survivor of the Crimea royalty. Uh, and and Path of Radiance. El Elencia, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she was the sole survivor, <coughs> sole survivor of the Crimea royalty. And then and then now in this game. Pele uh, Peleus is uh, well. I mean, he does have his mom still, but still, he's like the only sole survivor of uh, Day and royalty. That's pretty cool. How like the the, the stories kind of like mirror each other. Uh, both games kind of mirror each other. But yeah, that's really. I mean, of course, the King Peleus still has his mom, but still, it's it's kind of cool how like there's like there's like um, parallels. There's parallels with each which each game. And then, like, they kind of flip-flop with, you know, these, these, these kingdoms. Dayan was bad in the, in the first game, and now they're, now, but then now, well, I mean, now they show, like, a, their, their good side in, in this, in Radiant Dawn. And then Binion was, you know, like you said, questionable in the first game, but now they're bad in this game. Prince Peleus, I will. Micaiah, thank you. And in, re in return, will you ensure, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that Dayan will be freed from the rule of the Binion Empire? I promise. I trust in your word. It gets even deeper, but I won't say anything you would only find out on a second run through. Okay, cool, cool. I can't believe you. So, why are you so angry? I always try to tell the truth. I take honesty seriously. Shut the fuck up, Google. So, so, why are you so angry about this? You have to ask? You know we can't live in the public eye. 
Doing something like that will de deliberately make you stand out. I'm just saying, it isn't like you, Micaiah. When we were separated during that during the war, you changed so, and I changed too. I want to protect Dan more than anything. Our people must be saved, and if I can help in that effort, I will. So much that so much so that you'll risk your life and sacrifice who you are? Yes, but that isn't. But that isn't all. Prince Peleus cherishes the same wish that I do. I can feel it. Deep in his heart, he wants to save Dan. If we work together, I know that we can do it. I don't know. We'll see if we'll see if um, Prince Peleus will actually, you know, uh, um, uh, take. Uh, go through with his promise. Alencia wasn't really looking for Ike's support, though. The Grail mercenary stumbled upon her by chance, and by subsequent circumstances decided to aid her when they enforced their hand. I see. Well, still, though, like, I mean, they still, they still, like, joined together. They still work together, just like how Micaiah and um, Prince Elias are working together. Prince Peleus, whatever his name is, works to get, work, wants to work together. And you don't, you, you don't hear that voice we spoke of? The voice that warns you of impending danger? It's alright, so. The visions I see spreading up before us, most of them shine with hope. Alright, I trust you. More importantly, I believe in you. I won't resist anymore. Wait, 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 she said most of them. She said most of them shine with hope. What was the one, what, what was the vision that wasn't shining hope? What was that one? Her death or something? Probably. But let me just say one thing. What? I will protect you. I know that. Why do you think you need to say it? I just wanted to make sure you knew. Thank you, So. <coughs> this is getting good. This game's getting good now. Oh, man. I... I mean, I think I'm kind of... I'm, I think I'm kind of comfortable... Uh, continuing with with no normal hard. Three years passed. I'm... Day in mustered all of its formidable military might and cut a bloody swath through neighboring Crimea in a sudden invasion. Day in was defeated, however, and the dreams of its ruler, Mad King Ashnard, died with him. Ashnard's son, Peleus, possesses a gentle sincerity that is a bright counterpoint to his late father's violence and duplicity. Ill-suited though he seems for these troubled times, his presence is a welcome sight to Micaiah's eyes. Peleus, declared rightful heir to the throne, finds his name becoming a rallying cry for Dayan. At his side is the only person he believes can lead his liberation army, the Silver-Haired Maiden. Oh shit. Chapter 6, Raise the Standard. And then Frodo says there's like there's like 40 chapters and shit. Free State of Marauder. Oh, I didn't even get to read. Marauder, inside the kingdom of Dayan. Assembling is forbidden. All violators will be punished immediately. Assembling? Assembling? We were just talking around the well. Silence. No excuses. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my- oh my god! Go! Wow, you're an asshole. Can I really have just seen that? Lady Fiona, the self-proclaimed- proclaimed, the self-proclaimed Liberation Army is on the march. Morado's army has been ordered to deploy with us. Understood, General. We will prepare immediately, but I need to address your soldier's conduct. A new war is afoot. You never answered Ashran's call to arms in the last one. You have a reputation for ruling wisely. 
Don't endanger your people by hurling ugly accusations at my soldiers. I trust I needn't worry that you'll fail to answer the Empire's call. I will not lie to you. My people are proud citizens of Dayan, and some agree with these so-called liberators. She probably agrees with the liberators too. However, I will not lead my people into danger over ridiculous rumors of some unknown orphan prince. I'm glad to hear it. I think deep down inside she wants to side with the Liberation Army. I mean, she does have like a profile. I mean, she doesn't look evil anyway. I need to volunteer. Follow that woman's every move. I trust her no farther than I can throw her. Day in Liberation Camp. Too bad she's bad. Bad as in useless. Oh my god. <laughs> she looks pretty cool, though. Well, well. The rumors that my operatives started, started have spread like wildfire through all of Dayan. Late King Ashnar's orphan surfaces. Silver-haired maiden at Prince Peleus' side. Now that we have the people's attention, we snag their hearts. We'll just extol the savior. Fan the rebe- uh, Fan the rebellion. Go to battle and conquer the enemy in a blaze of glory. I bet Izuka is going to have something up, uh, has something planned for himself, really. I bet he wants to be, like, the next King Ashner, Izuka. There's your second sec sacrifice. Third. Leo doesn't count. Well, I guess, um... And then there's Meg, too. Well, I guess she has one incredibly niche use. I've done it once, and it was 100% not worth. Coffee, I'll donate $20 for you to kill off Joe. Oh my god! You're not like all fighting against each other. Oh my god. Wow, guys. No fighting, guys. No fighting. Yeah, I mean, this is, this game is getting pretty good. Not gonna lie. Do we have sufficient forces to arouse said rebellion and achieve victory? Nope, probably not. You let me worry about that. This highly sophisticated strategizing is beyond your young mind. Worry not, my prince. After painstaking investigation, I have determined the exact locations to target. Gather around, all of you. Here are my plans for our next strike. You would be spending $20 to make coffee struggle with this game, and I would find that quite entertaining, so by all means. I've never used her in the game as a breeze. It's all friendly banter coffee. I hope so. I hope so. If the Liberation if the Liberation Army attacks any of these places, we are assured of an absolute victory. Masterful as always, Izuka. It's good to know I can count on you. First, we'll target Talrega. It borders the frontier. Benyon's hold is shaky, and resentment runs high. No, Talrega's no good. What was that? On what grounds are my decisions being questioned by this... this child? 
The timing is wrong. Because of the rains, we won't be able to add to advance well. Let alone, let alone fight. It's true. Oh, shit. I'm from Talrega, and I remember well the landslides and floods that come every spring. The mountain road leading to that particular work camp is notoriously dangerous. Oh, what? Impossible. My, my strategy is flawless. Perfect, even. I never. Makaya, where do you think we should attack? Terran. We'll have better luck in Terran. Terran, too, lies in the mountains. But in the arid northern region, where the weather is predictable. Makaya, you're amazing. I count my blessings to have you as vice general. You give me hope. Lady Makaya! Few outsiders know of the landslides in Telrega. Have you been there before? Makaya is a powerful seer. We in the Dawn Brigade owe our lives and our freedom to her abilities. Oh. Goodness, Izuka, what is it? She can foresee battle outcomes? Magnificent! Why didn't anybody tell me of this? This only makes the Maiden that much more appealing. And let us just be honest here. My foresight in decreeing her Vice General was wondrous. Nay, genius. Excellent. Well then, yes. I'll bow to the Maiden's vision. Let's leave the camp and make for Terran. God's guy. Definitely not fighting. I enjoy uh, debating Fire Emblem units. Even if one of them is trashed here, like Leo. Oh, damn. An ability she'll be unable to use when it's convenient. Yeah, during battles. Alright, let's see. Cool, we get Tornado! Yay! We don't have to use Meg anymore. <laughs> we have Zearch, too! Yay, Zearch! Ew, we don't have to use Meg, ew. Tornado kind of just pieces the fuck out after this chapter. Don't get too attached. Aww. Okay. Uh, still have the same shit. Wait, 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 wait. They didn't have they didn't have steel swords though. Ooh, I want a steel sword. Yeah, let me get a steel sword. Actually, wait, 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 I didn't buy it yet. Good, I didn't buy it yet. I can change my mind. Okay, good. Oh, you need to steal lands for sure. Okay, so Frodo, um, is a light worth it? Is it worth you? Is it, is it worth buying? 
for 2240. I mean, I do have the other spell. Uh, what was it called? I forget. Not light, but I've never bought one. Okay. Ooh, a card. Ooh. I mean, Laura doesn't, I mean, she doesn't need to get hit. We are, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, there's no point in killing her because she, she can't get hit anyway. A card might be useful, but I don't I want to save money. I might need another hand axe though, they're pretty useful. So maybe let me go. Let me go ahead and buy one for uh, Nolan. Okay, so we can actually remove <laughs> remove skills from these people, right? Nullify enemy critical attacks. Ooh. Yes. Let's never use Meg again. <laughs> Let's see. And then, um... What about Leonardo? I might have to remove... I might... He's kind of useless at this point. <laughs> I'll still keep him. I might not bench him. I'll just keep him. Bonus damage against beast tribal dudes. See, what about Edward? He has wrath. I want to know what wrath does. What the fuck? I do do you remember though, coffee if a unit. The unit starts out with the skill, they get it for free, but if you take it off and try to put it back on, it takes up their skill capacity. And you increase their capacity by promoting. Oh. Okay, well, I'm not gonna remove any, um, I'm not gonna remove any skills for now. Just Meg's skill, because we're not gonna use Meg anymore. So, I'll, I'll definitely keep, keep them on for now. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, so let's. Well, just I'll just I'll deal with skills later. I'll deal with skills later. Let's see, Laura and Leonardo, Aaron. You know they might have a better relationship. Yeah, let's have a let's 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 just add them instead. Would it make more sense? Would it make more sense for me to just pair Aaron and Laura together instead of Laura and Leonardo, Frodo, or anyone CTM or Piccolo? So yeah, should I increase? Should I pair Le uh, Laura with Leonardo uh, with the Garen? Depends on what you want. Cause I feel like they're like both. They both know each other. 
I was thinking that would make more sense instead of just, you know, Laura and Leonardo. I mean, but Laura and Leonardo look really cute together. They look cute. If you aren't going to use Leonardo, go ahead. I don't know. It depends on if you're going to use them both long term. Laura generally gets the boot from me real quick. I see. I'll just keep them together for now. Laura and Leonardo. They look really cute together. I like Leonardo. You know he's kind of useless. Aaron's pretty. Aaron's not too bad. I'm so I never really cared for support. And just paired people who I would think would be cool. I see. <laughs> yeah, I'll just keep Laura and Leonardo together. They look cute together. Oh, look at them. They're all smiling and 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 and, and look at they, have, they both have big eyes. They're so cute. Outside the village. Yes, that's what I heard. What with that light? That silver. Could she, could she be the silvered maiden? Hmm. Oh, it is. It is you. Oh, oh my! You're fighting with King Astrid's son to free Dayan, aren't you? Oh, we've heard so much about you. When they are, but uh, but uh, let's see. The only ones I can say. I care about supports are the Earth Affinity ones, but supports generally benefit you based on their affinity, which helps in combat when they are next to each other. Uh, Radiant Dawn is much more flexible than Path of Radiance was in this respect, so you can experiment with it, yes. Okay, cool. I'll try. Oh, what a blessing! What a blessing! We're all waiting. We're waiting for the day you free us. From those filthy Binion pigs! Please, take this! It's not much, but people from all, the, all over the village pitched in. Oh no, I, I couldn't possibly! Thank you, we appreciate your kindness. We're all counting on you. Please, free us! Looks like Isaka's propaganda is working fast. Hmm. You didn't want me to take the money, did you? It's not that. It's just... Oh, never mind. Oh, come on. What did I do this time? You're not going to say? Great. In that case, let's get out of here and go find the others. We got a thousand gold. Man, a thousand gold? That wasn't that even that... Yeah, that wasn't even that much. They might as well just keep it. I mean, the old lady and the and the granddaughter might might as well just keep it. That wasn't that much. We have like ten thousand and shit. So you're staying then? I appreciate your concern. However, I you can't leave Prince Peleus aside. Is that is that not so? That's right. Then take this at least. A sending stone. Do you remember how to use one? Of course, I remember how to use one, but it's such a precious, precious gift. Are you sure about this? Oh, are they dragon people? I just realized they have red eyes. They have, they're dragon people, aren't they? And Ashner, like, fucked a dragon lady? And then, so, basically, basically Prince Peleus is half dragon or something? Or maybe, or maybe... I don't know. Okay, we'll find out later. I don't know. Oh. Well, of course I remember how to use one. But it's such a precious gift. Are you sure about this? Wong with a bong 98. What's up, Wong with a bong? Hello. Thank you, Kurt. Kurt, where are you? I must go now. Please, remain safe. You as well. Kurth? Micaiah, how nice to see you. Kurth, I'm leaving for Terran. I know this is sudden. To tell the truth, I'm surprised too. I see. You're off to perform your first duties as 
a general of this Liberation Army. Yes, I abhor violence. I do not think you should fight. Kurth, I'm not fighting because I... I know. I know you wish there were another way. I understand that you feel this is what you must do to save your country. Here, take this. What is it? May it serve to protect you, Micaiah. I must leave you now. I am going home to my own country. What? So suddenly? I'm sorry, Micaiah. Being so close to battle frightens me, to tell you the truth. Thank you for rescuing me, and thank you for the short time we spent together. I enjoyed it immensely. Will I ever see you again? Who knows? Why don't we... Yes, let's, let us leave it up to the goddess. To the goddess. I suppose we must. You got a renewal. Cool. Oh my god, really? Let me see. Can you shout me out? Yeah, this guy was through me. He made the, it 30 minutes ago. Thank you, thank you, Frodo. The brown robe looks suspiciously similar to Renolf's disguise in the first game. I, I don't remember who Renolf is, actually. <laughs> So as you can see, guys, I have a um, I have the normal save right here, and I have the no 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 yeah yeah well, I have the easy normal save here, and I have the normal hard save right here. So and this is also yeah so easy normal here and then normal hard over here. So just in case like I find normal hard too hard, I might go back to easy normal. But at this point, I don't think normal hard's that bad. Normal heart doesn't seem so bad for now. The cat with heterochromia. He was also blue. Oh, right. I think I remember. He was the king of Gallia's advisor and personal servant. Oh, right, right. I remember Renolf now, kind of. As well as those, as well as all those other things. <laughs> small troop approaches from the east. It appears to be the Dayan Liberation Army. Yeah, we're probably gonna call the stream in a bit. Blissfully ignorant of the trap that awaits them. I pity them. I pity them, really. Laverton? What the fuck kind of name is Laverton? How the first platoon assumed their battle positions? But you've only been streaming for one hour, Paper Hands. No, it was not one hour, Frodo. It's been like five hours. Shall we deploy? Shall we deploy too? Kind of you to offer, Lady Fiona. But the first platoon will suffice here. This is really none of Morado's business. I see. In that case, we'll use this opportunity to, to observe the Empire's army at work. and call it a stream for now. Oh shit! No! I didn't want to save on that! Fuck! Well, it's okay, it's okay. It's, it's whatever, it's whatever. It's fine, it's fine. been a great stream and uh i really do appreciate the follows if you guys haven't followed me go ahead and follow me now and if you haven't joined my discord go ahead and join my discord too so it's been a fun stream it's not one hour it's been like four or five hours so it's, i really do appreciate you guys hanging out and coming by to hang out so i'm gonna try to stream tomorrow night 
So we'll try to, try to stream tomorrow night. I'm gonna try to get my uh, laptop installed with Windows so we can do movie nights too. So guys, we'll be watching The Room. We'll be watching The Room on Discord whenever I get my laptop set up. So be, be on the lookout guys for movie nights. Um, probably during the weekends. And then we, our first movie we'll try to watch is The Room. So I hope you guys are looking forward to The Room. Excuse me. Looking forward to that. And once I get my laptop installed with uh, Windows 10, we can also like str I could probably also stream more uh, more uh, Steam games and uh, stream F Fantasy Star Online 2 with Valkos Lenari, a good streamer friend of mine, and try to stream more 3DS games too. Once I get my 3DS capture card uh, modded to my 3DS, so yeah, it's been a fun stream, guys. Thanks for coming by. It's been really fun, and also thank you so much for the raid, um, Mr. JRPG. Thank you so much for the follow, Crimson Haka. Thank you so much for the fo uh, for the raid, throw in the letter. We're gonna we'll go ahead and stream tomorrow night, hopefully. So, won't call out lurkers as usual, but thank you so much for coming by, um, Piccolo, uh, Frodo, Scheming, Count Wolf, CTM, uh, sixty one six. C C C CTM161, uh, let's see, Duckcore, Gypsy, Hobo Joe, Jinray, Lazy, uh, let's see, Pan, and uh, Thorn, and all and everyone else who came by. Thanks for coming by. Let's see who we can raid tonight. Let's see. We'll raid. Who can we raid? I don't know who can raid. Let me go ahead and refresh the screen to see if there's anyone that I missed. We can raid maybe Skywise? I think I raided him already before. We can also raid... We'll raid Chun Rice. That's right. We'll, we'll go ahead and raid Chun Rice. So he's doing just chatting, but he streams a lot of anime kind of JRPGs and games. So let's go ahead and raid Chun Rice. If you haven't uh, subscribed to me yet, you can use this raid command or raid message, whatever. If you have subscribed to me, then you can use this raid message. So we'll roll raid Chun and Rice. Yes, thank you so much for coming by, everyone. I do look forward to movie nights, so we'll see if that's uh, if that'll plan out. But yeah, thank you for so much for coming by. You have a great rest of your night, and I'll try to stream tomorrow night. Take care, everyone. Bye.